Aristorators proudly presents to you the opening exchanges of a meaningful debate on dinosaurs and dancing. Order, order, put down that sandwich. Honourable members, scientists were so preoccupied with whether they could, they don't ever stop to think if they should. And on the dance floor, too many people ask themselves neither of those questions. I beg to move that this society has considered the best dinosaur to have as a dancing partner and consider specifically the following. Therizinosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, Mosasaurus, where one is the most promising dinosaur dance partner and five is a poor choice for a dancing duo. Consort Cricket of Connery, you have the role of Marquess for this debate round and I invite you to make the opening contemplation speech. It is an honour to open this debate. I'm going to work through from best to worst. Therizinosaurus, that has feathers, it's got long beautiful fingernails. Point of order, it's not fingernails, it's talons or claws or something. What? What is a talon if not a very well-grown fingernail? I'm not going to insult any honourable member, but sophisticated minds understand the right terminology to describe making extinct animals pretty. Now, you can paint those talons or fingernails with different colours. This might be a political message, like a red and black thing, or it might be better to match it to your sequin jumpsuit, because then you get points for that if there's judges, I reckon. Now, that means you've got elegance, you've got chic from your dancing partner. It might accidentally scratch your back, but that's not going to be like a bloodlust back scratching, because they were vegetarians. Plus, they stand upright. Symmetry. Uh, as long as you're eight feet tall. Point of order, they're eight metres, not eight feet. Triceratops, meanwhile, has none of these features, but there are fossils of Triceratops fighting T-Rexes, like that film with Raquel Welch in it. So, that second, because if the dance gets raided by a T-Rex, it might be a little bit emasculating relying on your dancing partner and not being able to fight yourself, but I'd rather rely on a dinosaur to save me than get eaten on balance. That T-Rex is going to be attracted by the smell of all the dinosaurs. It's going to come at you. You can't keep an elephant gun on you, because it won't match your dance costume, unless it's a traditional Russian dance, and I don't know how to do that, or it's an opera. And an opera isn't dance. Opera's opera. Tyrannosaurus, third. Sometimes herbivores are aggressive. Buffaloes, hippos, very dangerous creatures. Maybe the Triceratops will go crazy and attack everyone. Then you need the T-Rex to defend you because that knows how to fight Triceratops. Mosasaurus, I've not even heard of that. Fourth. Ankylosaurus, opposite of a Therizinosaurus. Slow, lumbersome. Point of order, lumbersome is not a word. Yeah, lumbersome is a word, and thick armour means if it's misstepping a rumba, for example, you can't tap it on the shoulder to adjust it like you would with cows, and you can't even choose cows anyway because cows aren't dinosaurs. So, Ankylosaurus worst. And that, a grand and learned society, constitutes the insights that I commend to the house. Many thanks for that opening speech. I now turn to Lem Honourable Duchy, a proposition, if I may. Please proceed. Let's have woolly rhinoceros as a possible answer here. Now, you might say it isn't a dinosaur, but the word dinosaur means terrible lizard, and dinosaurs aren't lizards. So, maybe dinosaurs are anything that's terrible, particularly terrible at dancing. We can't have terrible dancers. We need to be able to put on a show. Woolly rhinos with their big horns, you could, like, do a singing in the rain style routine that you can't do with a triceratops horn. It's too small. Plus, normal rhinos Rhinos are really lowly. Imagine how much it would perk them up to see their ancestors in a dance. So that, O Grand and Learner Society, constitutes the insights that I commend to the house. Does anybody here second the proposition of woolly rhinoceros? Frankly, I think that you're all an absolute disgrace to the name of Aristorators. Knees of Napoleon of Brosnan, you're getting two discredits for a failed proposition, and I'm giving you two more discredits because you've just insulted everyone. It is absolutely fine. If people don't want a woolly rhinoceros to be discussed as a potential dance partner, that is everybody's human right enshrined in law. So, belt it. Lemon, Lionel of Lazenby, I now call on you to make a reflection speech on the same subject. Guide the Aristorators as they continue this debate. Add insights to the comments and vote on our website.